Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you episode 31, now officially into the 30s of Let's Try Fallen Enchantress Legendary Heroes. Hope you guys are doing well. It's very early morning here. I woke up with some mouth pain, and I'm going to take a few over-the-counter painkillers right now, really quickly. Bear with me, guys. One second. Okay, so let's load up 30 and get into it. Hope you guys are doing well. I am super stoked to be playing, as always. Um, man, one second, guys. Mm. We're here. We have to check the courier's camp. Um, we have to defeat the ghost at the, the necromancer's house, but we don't have enough um, firepower for that. We need like fire, lightning, ice to take her out. Um, let's go ahead and sack this city of Ket, which belongs to the Yithril invasion. Let's check it out. Let's see how it's going to work. Do we have to... We can't move. We have to hit turn, probably. The bestiary of Ithu, the ogre. In the time of the dragons, there lived a girl named Olana. She was daughter to a great Namir chieftain, and wise as she was beautiful. But because she was a woman, when her father died, she could not become chief. This angered her, and she fled into the White Mountains, taking shelter in the catacombs deep beneath those peaks. One day, a garrote came to her cavern. This beast is a man-eater, but was captivated by Olana's beauty. They laid together in the darkness and made a child, the first ogre. They had a dozen more, and Olana taught each of her children to hate man and to live in solitude. These lessons were passed down through each generation. Not sure where we're seeing ogres at, but okay. Let's, um... Oh, he's got... It's Crawl, who's just about dead, and the city militia and archers. They're actually pretty tough. Let's, uh, let's battle it and see what we can do, guys. Um, might want to take Crawl out immediately, but let's see. I can come here. I can attack you. Here comes Crawl. Oh, I shouldn't have let him get a turn off like that. Bannon. Um, come here. Can you rush? No. You can kill, though. And that brings forth the brother Sparus, who can do some damage there. And Tierney, who's brand new, he's got burning hands. Or he's got burning hands. Um, let's go ahead and use it. Nasty. Our, uh, homies back here, I thought were protected. Not quite. Um. They're just militia, but still. Uh, militia... Oh, finish them. Yeah, the archers are going to get them. Unless they go for someone else. Nope. Bannon. Um, boom. Let's come down here and let's rush. And go after the uh, archers. Brother Sparus. Ooh, nasty. Tyranny. Boom. We don't have any range threats, unfortunately. Let's do this and rush and head up here. <coughs> no 
no use in really bringing these guys down because they're not going to. I mean, we could cast slow to try to save our militia. <clears throat> when do they act next? Oh, not forever. Wouldn't even have to slow them, surprisingly. Fortify. Impale. Alright, let's just take him out. Try to. Oh, we definitely need some ranged units. Tierney doing his thing very nicely. Soul Spark. Um, eight mana. Oh, command. Beautiful. Forgot we have that. It's such a powerful <laughs> trait. Alright, you've captured an enemy city. Boom. <laughs> Cat is now ours. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. We have a crystal mine coming in. Um, very nice. Now, dealing with two cities is going to be interesting. When's our next champion at 100 fame? Here we have Ket. Um, oof. Uh, wow, we can make Bard. Shieldmen. Bards are air add-ups. They can cast haste and slow. Plus 10% of the army's XP. Oh, that's nasty, but they're not much of attackers. Bards level and use equipment like champions. They can learn basic air and water spells and improve the rate the army they are in gains XP. Shieldmen level and can use XP like champions. They can learn basic earth spells and help defend the armies they are in. Plus three to the army's defense. Unlocks Hurl Boulder. That's pretty useful. Um, but I think we're going to go with Bard. And uh, do we want to train that right now? We're still just above Tarth. We're actually pretty low. <laughs> Let's check out the details. Unrest is 26%. Um, we get to keep the monuments and stuff, which is cool. No mana is incoming. Perhaps we can change that. Um, study workshop in we're getting 2.5 grocer garden bell tower plus four gildar per season with a market workshop let's build a workshop i think down here and then we'll go ahead and train a bard And hope for the best now. Meanwhile, let's bring Lord Relius out here to check the courier's camp. Um, there is a mine. It's an ancient graveyard down there. Oh, do we have to attack that? We do. There's nobody defending it. Huh, so we didn't capture the mine yet. Let's bring out the Brother Sparse. Let's bring out um, Tierney. And just pass for that. And bring out... Man and Heisley, let the spearmen or the militia rest. Let's go ahead and save. We've sacked a city. Awesome. Come down here. Okay, rituals is researched. Learning these ceremonies will allow you to construct the sacrificial altar improvement. The greatest magics, no matter their aspect, require blood to work. Study in this area of the arcane arts is necessary for any sovereign intent on expanding his or her magical repertoire. Our cities will, with essence, should improve the efficiency of their clerics by upgrading them to shrines. Okay, so from here... Mm. 
might want to go drill so we can get that plus one army size. Yeah, let's go drills. Seven turns. Um, pass on you. Down here we have Tallow, which is another... Um, oh, we already captured the mine. Okay. Um, how's our militia doing? Okay. Capture Tallow as well. We haven't been building uh, cities. Message from Paradin. We have 184 Gildar. You have 139 Gildar. You would be wise to provide your money to us, Lord Relius. Hmm. Let's do this ancient graveyard. Tombstones too many to count. Stand guard over long dead denizens of this burial ground. There is a stench of sorcery. And a forbidden treasure waiting to be found. The mausoleum. A storm raged through these lands last night. Several trees are split by lightning, and the downpour has rinsed a few crypts and mausoleums clear of the grime of centuries. A mausoleum stands at the center of the graveyard. A granite door, thicker than a man's chest, lies beside it, broken in half. The inside of the mausoleum is similarly destroyed. Bones litter the floor, but anything of value is gone. In front of the tomb, the sculpture of a guardian lies toppled. Its large stone head lies a few feet from its body. Place the head back on the body. When you place the head on the statue, the dark eye sockets flare to sudden life. The great stone hands whip forward and grab you, lifting you off the ground and begin squeezing. You can feel your ribs bending and dark images swim in your vision. You will not enter, the statue yells. Its hollow voice echoes through its body and the room. Try to talk to the creature. I didn't do this, you wheeze. For a few seconds, you don't know if the creature can hear or understand you. It continues to squeeze. Its eyes continue to bore into you with its ancient rage. And then it relaxes, dropping wearily to the floor as you do the same. As you recover your breath, the creature rises and begins trying to repair the tomb. With delicate care you would not expect from its massive hands, it replaces each of the bones and scraps of cloth and tries to put the tomb back together. Aww. What happened, you ask? I failed. That which was placed under my care has been taken. The remains of my lord are gone. I will recover the missing body. Track the robber back to his home, which is down here, robber's hut. Um, there's brutes there. I don't know if we can handle this one with just the four of us. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I didn't realize you should build cities so close together like, like that. Uh, there's a brute. The brutes are pretty tough. Archer and militia and then crawl grave hands again, but he's immobilized for two seasons. Um... Let's try to battle, see how it goes. Come up here and attack you. Bannon. Um Come up here, I guess, and maybe cast slow. Um, on their 33 HP dudes, the brutes. Our brother Spiris. I want to make sure they don't get uh, whoops, taken out. <clears throat> Let's come here. Fortify. We 
which gives plus 20 dodge, plus 10 accuracy. Here comes Tierney. Um, burning Hands, Guarded Strike, Pass, <coughs> Dodge. Hmm. Lord Relius, uh, come up one and attack. Ah. Pack swing, baby. Always forget about that. <laughs> Our brother's spirits are untouchable there. Bannon. 18 crit for the kill. Um. Nasty. Brother Spiris. Dodged. Uh, Tierney. <laughs> they finally hit for minus one. Minus six, Bannon. We're about to capture another city, guys. Boom. Um. Here and attack you guys. And critical. Nasty. Tierney. Oh, I didn't equip Tierney with anything. Do we have anything to equip? Maybe some weapons. Crawl. I didn't want him to even get an attack off. City, whatever that's worth. Get through invasion is not doing too well. 3 XP, we defeated a faction. Wow. The war against Kral, Grave Hands, and the Githril invasion forces come to an end. Our forces have successfully driven them into the abyss. Hail the military daring of Lord Relius. Kral will no longer be a thorn in our side. With our back protected, you are free to turn your attention on the eastern front. Aid our allies and push across the hinge at the most northeastern tip of our continent. You would do well to explore our land as well. There are lost treasures and many who would assist you. Remember, one man can only do so much. Your champions can lead armies too. You will accomplish more if you field multiple armies at once. This is only the start of a long war. Nice. Transport ship, let's pass. Um, cross the hinge to the northeast and invade the fallen lands. Yithil's been defeated. Altar has conquered Tallow. Conquered Tallow. Um, so in Tallow, we're at 52 fame. Oh, our fame has actually gone down. Let's go ahead and field. Hmm. Let's build a Manus plus four. Ten percent Gildar. Wow, Gildar's plus three point eight. Nasty. Um, rest is 30%. Let's go ahead and build a Tower of Dominion. One growth, ten fame. Negates the unrest penalty from the amount of cities in your empire. Build that. What? What happened? Oh. Uh -huh. Um, Robber's Hut, we have Wild Horses, Learn Mounted Warfare to Harvest. Root Grove, we can't build. 
Um, let's bring the homies out. Uh, pass for you. Lord Relius. Now, let's go to equip and look at Tyranny. Could he maybe use the Possessed Axe? Oh, he's got a Battle Hammer, but it's minus four initiative. It's actually got some good stuff. Can we shop? We can. Um, oh, there's some cool stuff here that we researched. Um, Mage's Staff. Oh, we have this uh, Spider Venom Sack as well. Should we sell the Possessed Axe or just hang on to it in case like someone new could use it? Probably sell the dagger. I'll trade it back to myself just in case. Escape scroll, dark candle. Um, can anyone use the mage's staff? Not really. Plus 20 dodge versus ranged attacks. That's nasty. Monk's robe. The belt of precognition. Um, probably banning because he's got the lowest HP. So let's buy and equip it. Nice. And let's get him some salted pork as well for 30. Boom. Done. Oh, let's... Uh, Let's equip that on Lord Relius and save. Having a ball so far. Shall we try this uh, robber's home, robber's hut? The fallen entrance door bears the faint remains of the sigil of House Lamord, one of the great merchant houses of the time before the cataclysm. Treasure may yet wait within. This isn't a simple grave robber, and the thief seems to have little interest in any valuables that the tomb may have contained. Instead, one of the corpses. Dozens stand silent guard around the dark hut. If the golem's lord is one of them, there is little chance that you would be able to retrieve it without destroying it in battle. If I cannot retrieve the body, I can at least lay it to rest. Or I'll come back later. Let's see what would happen if we try to lay it to rest. Defeat the necromancer. Oh, there's too many of them. Yeah, plus a necromancer. Let's see what we're up against. We've got Necromancer. These being were once these beings were once man channelers who desired knowledge of the darkest arts, the spells which lay folk called death magic. They sought out the master of such spells, the black sorcerer, and begged his favor. To win it, they performed acts of perversion and blasphemy near unmentionable. We've read that before. Despair transfers three hit points per level from all enemies to the caster. That damage is halved if the enemy resists. War Staff uh, can counter spell. 20 spell resist. Cloak of Fear. Enemies must make a spell resist check or they're unable to attack a unit protected by this enchantment. Demonic Ally summons a level 5 Assassin Demon. We are not ready by any stretch for these guys. Um, maybe I can rush and come here and try to take him out quickly. Demonic ally, that's not good. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to handle this, guys. I should probably just uh, reload, really. Um, Whose turn is it? Tyranny. Yeah, I don't think we have a chance. No. Oh, no way. Heck no. 
doesn't let me just exit and return to uh Let's use the escape scroll. We'll get to the assassin demon, but I'm actually going to just reload. I didn't realize it'd be that tough. Let's go here and just say to, we'll come back later. We're in a little over our heads here. We've got to better handle our three cities. And essentially, yeah, I'll come back later. Um, just wearing over our heads here. It's a lot of tough stuff going on up here. Could have that explore, but there's a bear uh, place. We can tackle the bear place. New technology research drills. Learning these drills will allow you to increase your maximum army size by one. This knowledge is outlined in detail in the Mistos Manual of Infantry Tactics and Custom. The more units we can fit into an army, the more effective we will be in combat. Okay, so we got that. Um, mining, production, granary is more food and growth. Administration. Festival, plus 50% food, 20% Gildar, 50% growth, Town Hall, can rush production, cooperation, can train groups of four units, plus a tax on office, but we need a market. Tax office gives four more Gildar and 20% Gildar when producing wealth. Palace minus 30% unrest. Loud one per faction. The city lucky enough to be graced with the palace will see a growth bonus and lower unrest levels in the populace. Let's look into Mounted Warfare. That's what we had to learn to be able to, to get horses, right? Let's learn Mounted Warfare. Oh, dang. Brood Hunter's army. There's no way we can handle that. Got a modest inn with a quest. Um, let's attack the bear right here. See how this goes. Should be relatively easy peasy. Bannon. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Finally. Another Sparus. Got the bear some XP, a bear pelt. Uh, have you explore? Construction completed in Athicus Apothecary. Alright, so from here, uh, we I didn't realize we left them wide open to uh, attack. So let's go ahead and build... A Militia. We're number three at 18. The Beast here of Ithu the Brood... Though the swamps of Elemental are full of the Queen's servants, many more lay in the depths of the world. Creatures in Kohe and Ten Tenebris, they are those that spin webs that trap spirits, those that bear their young when enraged so that the young may join in the battle, and pobulum worms so intent on being eaten that they force themselves into the mouths of larger creatures. Ill. But the most tragic are the brood. They are the discarded experiments of the Titans, the results of rock spider eggs planted in a darkling mother's womb. As they hatched, they consumed her intestines and birthed from her as they would from the fractured world generations later. No, thank you. Let's come over here. But we're actually pretty high. Oh, the brood's chasing us a little bit. Um, 
Honest Inn, a disreputable looking tavern with clientele to match. Those that seek adventure and are not afraid of the trouble that often comes with it should not hesitate to enter. Hunger Pains. You hear the problem before you can see it. Screams and the pounding of an ogre's hammer against the barricaded door of the inn. The people trapped inside the inn scream for your help, but the ogre ignores you until you call to him. You're as hungry, the ogre says. Let me have a few and I fight for you. Ooh, talk to the ogre. Do you allow Hiris the ogre to eat the people and join you, or will you save those trapped within? I mean to bring civilization back to these lands, not allow creatures to run wild. So we have to fight it, but um, I could have given him like a sandwich or something. You know? Um, burning hands. Minus eight, nasty. Ban and come here. You can't use command, but you can slow the ogre resisted. If there was another way to get him to join, I would. Brother Sparus. Um, Tierney. Oh boy. If only we could slow him again. Two to five. Let's, um, haste Brother Sparus. Oh boy. Ah. Uh. Nasty. Boom. Ogre oh, just about taken care of. Boom. Brother Sparse about to level up as well as Bannon. 10 Gildar. You are killed. The innkeeper thanks you for your aid, but has little to reward you with, with beyond a hot meal. 10 fame. Nice. The brood is chasing us and it's creeping me out. Training completed for militia in Athica. Um, let's post them up there and keep them indoors. Athica is done though. Let's, um, shrine unrest, fame goes up, sage, monument, zone of control, garden, food, bell tower, alchemist is 38 seasons, but man, our mana goes from plus three to plus three. That doesn't seem right. Huh. Not exactly what we wanted. Um, twenty-five percent research bonus. Zone of control. Let's go with a uh, bell towers. Keep a city running in an orderly manner by lowering unrest. Let's train um, spearmen for now. Let's go back to our units. Uh, you guys can't deal with the robbers right now. Let's come up here. Hopefully the brood leaves us alone. We're pretty close to the top, which is nice. Hmm. I thought about this off camera and meant to do it, but I keep forgetting. Uh, let's do it now. Let's talk to Tarth about treaties. Let's offer a trade treaty. Alta will receive additional 0.56. Tarth will receive an additional 0.12. And I will offer you three Gildar for that deal. And how about an economic treaty, a trade route? We don't have a lot of Gildar to... Okay, a trade route between the cities. Goodbye, so Tarth is taken care of. What about Capitar? Welcome to Capitar. You will find our marketplace and our goods second to none. 
You have warfare, tech knowledge, and 60 metal. What would you want for warfare? Wow, literally one Gildar? One Gildar. Um, okay, it is agreed. They are our homies after all. What else are you interested in? Oh wait, we didn't add warfare. I just gave him one Gildar. Four Gildar for warfare. Um, it is agreed. Let's do a... Can't do a trade treaty with them? Huh. Oh, there it is. Trade treaty. Um, so if I give you Gildar up front. Boom. Economic treaty. Disagree. Trade routes. Okay. And then Gildan. We greet you in the name of Lord Anil Markin, conqueror of Zad Zabril. Monarch of all of Gilton. You have civilization. I think we already have all this. Let's do that and we'll offer you... Four for civilization. Yeah, I'm just trading that for nothing because... Yeah, my civilization is three. Let's do a trade treaty. I will throw in three Gildar. Boom. All right, we have treaties with everybody for trade, and it's taking our Gildar to 0.5.9. Oh my gosh. All right, let's um come up here. We have a bunch of quests. Tower of Dominion. Let's see. We can upgrade the crystal quarry. Uh, we will go ahead and throw that in there. As next, upgrade that. Um, the brood is off their domain. We could see what they're guarding there, but Tallow, after you build that in 20 seasons. Huh, for some reason the production is weird here. What about in Ket? Also a bit jacked up. Is the unrest too high? Oh, the unrest is really high, 78%. Why is the unrest so high? 90%. Yikes. Taxes, occupation penalties, city count penalty, territory not contiguous to capital. We can lower it with a bit. Let's put... Oh, no taxes would hurt us. Let's go to low taxes at least. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, then I want to train militia. We're down to two Gildar. Um, I don't know if we're able to take on three cities right now. keeping a lot of saves, right? So we'll see. Let's see how long we've been playing. 39 minutes right on the dot. So hopefully the brood doesn't attack our city or else we're kind of in trouble. Uh, 
Couriers camp a small campfire burns in the darkness, approach with weapons at the ready, for the smell of charred meat makes clear that whoever built the fire remains nearby. Workshop in two turns. We'll save here. And I'll say thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed. It's getting interesting, right? Even more interesting. It's been interesting, but it's getting even more so. Um, fascinating stuff. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're digging the, uh, the LT thus far. Lots of good stuff going on, and more to come. Um, I definitely want to keep playing for now. We will see what happens, so I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, feel free to watch previous episodes to see how we got here. Thank you so much, guys. Much love, peace, and joy. Be well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.